Psychopath or sociopath, both can be cold but manipulatively charming and kind of emotionless. But what is the difference between these two terms? Hey guys, Julia here for DNews. Until very recently, psychopath and sociopath could be used interchangeably. The terms describe somebody who was maybe aloof, manipulative, and just couldn't empathize with other people. But lately, even Sherlock Holmes debates the difference. He tells his pesky coworker, I'm not a psychopath, Anderson. I'm a high-functioning sociopath. And scientists are also quick to draw a distinction. Jack Pemmon, a biology graduate student at the University of Mississippi, wrote in the journal Aggression and Violent Behavior that psychopathy is a developmental disorder that is associated with specific kinds of behavior. Psychopathy is mostly biological. Psychopaths have abnormalities in the brain. Although childhood upbringing might have some effect, a traumatic home life might reshape the growing brain. One study published in the journal Frontiers in Human Neuroscience found that many areas of the brain associated with empathy fail to respond to emotional situations. The researchers used fMRI on 121 inmates in a medium security prison. They were shown situations where someone else is getting hurt, like getting their finger slammed at a car door. If you just winced when I said that, you're probably not a psychopath. The researchers looked at brain regions associated with empathy for pain, regions like the anterior insula, the anterior mid-cingulate cortex, somatosensory cortex, and the right amygdala. These areas activate when the inmates thought about themselves in pain, but these areas failed to activate when they saw someone else in pain. But another area did light up, the ventral striatum, an area that might be associated with pleasure. So yeah, psychopathic brains kind of like when other people are in pain. Psychopaths also respond to rewards more strongly than most people. According to research published in the journal Nature Neuroscience, their brains release four times more dopamine in response to drugs like amphetamine. So they seek a reward like drugs or maybe that CEO position, no matter what the cost. Sociopaths, on the other hand, still exhibit many of the same personality traits like manipulation and disregard of others' feelings, but not because they don't have any sense of morality like psychopaths. It's that their moral compass might be a little off the mark. This could be because of upbringing or a belief system. Pemmon used the example of Anders Breivik, who murdered 77 people in Norway. He did it not because he felt like it and didn't care about those people, which, I mean, he probably didn't care about them, but that wasn't his reason for it. His reason was tied to his belief system. He saw himself as a martyr for his cause. And Pemmon wonders if these belief systems might change the brain, or if the sociopathic brain might be inherently wired differently. He suggests that more research is needed. Sherlock Holmes, why not a mass murderer, tries to do what he thinks is right, but he goes about it by lying and manipulating because he really struggles to empathize with anyone. So basically, both psychopaths and sociopaths have brains wired a bit differently from the rest of us, but psychopaths don't have a sense of right and wrong and don't feel fear, while sociopaths do understand right from wrong, but their right might just look a little wrong to the rest of us. So maybe Sherlock is right, maybe he really is a high-functioning sociopath. Now that you've watched this video, do you understand the difference a little better? By the way, if you love DNews as much as I love making it, then just take a second and click the link in the description to nominate us for a Streamy Award. We bring you science every day, and we do it because we love it. And together, we can spread the love of science around. Thanks for watching DNews. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and keep coming back here. We've got new episodes every day of the week.